So I'm in Puerto Rico right now. People aren't very passionate here. It kind of sucks. So like, this is what they're like. Let me show you. commercials I was eight when I started doing uh, theatrical things okay yeah. is there any commercial in particular where you where you really like uh, uh, blew up like in the sense that everybody saw you and you had a great exposure um, and that so we can remember perhaps seeing you uh, I'm not sure about that but um, I, I remember what one of the one of the big moments in my life was when the kids at school started to come up to me and like say you know um, Oh, weren't you the kids from that Burger King commercial? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I, I was. I was. I, that was fun. So, how did you come to Gotham? Did you you, you went through an audition, right? I did. Yeah, I um, I was 12 when I first started auditioning for Gotham. Um, that's three years ago now. It's kind of crazy to think about. The uh, other day. Yeah, just the other day. Um, and how was that audition process? It was nerve wracking. I uh, it was. It was, it was less nerve-wracking, just as more um, annoying, <laughs> because they made me come in three times in one week. It's like, can't you guys decide yeah, it was, that you need me? Yeah, they, and it's me the guy you want? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was like, really? Um, no, no, no. But it, it, was, um, it was tough, but I got it, so I'm here. So, you know, it all worked yeah. out. It all worked out. All right. Any, any, woo! any tip you would give those... Uh, uh, aspiring actors. Aspiring actors. Um, I would say that determination is a very key uh, 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 attribute to have because you're going to get knocked down, everybody gets rejected, you go out on a thousand auditions and you'll be lucky if you get one right. um, of those jobs. So, And you can look perfect and, and, you, and you know, like the protocol perfect handsome looking guy but th if that's not what they're looking for i mean I, it doesn't matter that's how it yeah. is doesn't matter how, how what you look like it's yeah i mean you also same thing you could be the best actor in the room but they're going to give it to the kid with blonde hair or with that's a little taller because that's what that's what they're looking for it so mm -hmm. um it like most of 99.999 percent of the time it's not your fault that um you don't get a job uh, right. It's just because of either the way you look or right. because you read something wrong. I mean, it's there's like countless, countless um, yeah. reasons. But um, determination is key. And if you think you can make it in this business, don't give up because you got rejected because that's going to happen. 90% of the time you'll be rejected. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So in, in, in the case of Gotham, what type of research did you do to prepare for the series? Perhaps you read a specific comic book? Yeah, I did. Um, I did. I did all of that. I uh, when I first got it, I I looked up uh, everything. I watched every movie there was. I watched the Adam West TV show. I watched Batman animated series. I read every comic book I could. You slept with um, the Batman outfit. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I actually got some um, Batman pajamas <laughs> during the first season as a gift. And I, <laughs> I sleep in them every night, so... You must have a lot of collectibles in your bedroom. Oh my god, you see my, my bedroom. Right? Tons. tons. Uh, yeah, I have, I have 
Batman and Nightwing and Superman action figures all over my room, posters. You should see it, it's crazy. Yeah. We would like to see that. So, um, how does it feel to play the role of Batman, which has been portrayed by so many great actors? Michael Keaton, Adam West, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, David Mazous. How does it feel? It's um, it's amazing to be such a. I mean, like just like you said, there have been what Oof. seven yeah seven people that are part of the club or something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you seven. Seven. Yeah. All right, there you go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice club to be in. I'll it say is. That. Have you met any of those? Any of those actors? I met Ben Affleck very briefly at the Batman vs. Superman premiere. How is he? I, he, I, I honestly, I met him for a split second, okay. so I couldn't even tell you. I just met him just right. for enough time to take a picture, because he was being swarmed by people because it was at the Batman vs. Superman premiere. He has uh, a warm smile, I guess. Yeah, you know. yeah but he, I mean, for, for, the, for the literally half second that I met him, he was a really, really nice guy. Yeah. All right, so what would you think has been the best Batman until now, from the ones we mentioned. Oh, what do you guys think? I don't know, I can't say, because I don't, I like them all, they're all so different. <laughs> I, I couldn't pick a, I, I don't have a favorite one. Come on. I don't, I mean, here's, here's the thing, Christian Bale is my Batman because he was <laughs> was the one that was on right the one you saw growing up exactly because oh, I was only old enough to go to the movie theater when the third movie came out um, and so I wasn't even alive when the other ones came out and so um, really like he's, he's my Batman so I'm gonna I, uh, if, I, yeah, ha if I have to pick one out <laughs> it would be Christian okay what about uh, the role of playing Bruce what would you say that you enjoy the most the role. I mean, it's Bruce friggin' Wayne. Yeah. What? Who doesn't want to be Bruce Wayne? I mean, it's amazing. It's such an iconic role. That has to be the best part. That has to be. The whole, his whole childhood and... Yeah, I mean, I'm playing... I'm as close in my... In, because of my age, I'm as close to playing Batman mm -hmm. as I could. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want to be Batman? I mean, <laughs> let's face it, people. Yes, we all have that inner desire, but only if you get to do it. <laughs> so, uh, what would you say would be the most challenging part playing Bruce? Um, I, that would have to be the fact that, we're, that I stepped into this role after 75 years of Batman mythology and fandom had already been around. Mm -hmm. um, and so, 75 years is a very, very, very long time and a lot of things have already built up. And so it's kind of, it's, it's step, you know, it's, the pressure is much, it's, uh, much, it's a lot less when you go into a job and it's completely original because nobody's expecting right. anything. It's, you know, it's, it's new. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you, when you step into something like Gotham that is part of something much larger than a Fox TV show, uh, People are people are expecting are, it a lot. They, yeah, they have a certain standard that they're right. that they're um, going to hold you to. And um, but I mean, I think I think we've delivered. What do you guys think? Yeah. So you were you were talking to me backstage when you film a season. It usually takes a long time. Nine months. Yeah. Nine freaking months, nonstop. Yeah. yeah, we film every episode takes us just under two weeks. So. 22 of those, you can do the math. That's a lot of time. <laughs> so a season usually lasts, right? A season in three months. So it takes the triple amount of time to record that season. And usually you're from what time? 12 hours, eight hours a day, normal? Um, I'm only allowed to work because of my age. Right. Um, nine hours on set, but it takes an hour to, to get, get ready and to get back. Um, oh, to travel? Yeah, and the, for, okay. to travel. So it's really an 11 hour day. Wow. So it's, um, it's hard. <laughs> you live in LA, right? I live in LA, but the show shoots in New York, so um, I go back and forth all the time. Wow. So what do you like to do other than acting? How do you spend your days, like, when you go out with your friends or we're just, you know, hanging out in your house? And you, you look like a normal guy. You are. Yeah. Um, I mean, I hang out with my, when I have free time, I hang out with my friends. I walk my dog. I watch TV. 
What do you like to watch? Right, I just finished South Park. F yeah. South Park. Um, Kenny. I love Kenny. He's, he's dead right now. I know. His, so he, he dies every Wednesday night. All His the funeral's time. Thursday, and then he's back <laughs> to life on Friday again. Um, okay. Uh, no. um, yeah, so I just finished binging on that. Uh -huh. um, Any Netflix series? Every Netflix series. Yeah. You know, which ones haven't I watched? Yeah. I'm a crackhead when it comes to television. I've seen everything. Yeah. Uh, what else do I like to do? I like, yeah, hang out with my friends. Um, You're pretty be, tranquil. Be a, be a normal kid. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. ¿Cómo te llama? Ignacio. ¿Qué edad tú tienes? Trece. Trece. Tú pudieses ser el. Team. His name is Ignacio, he's a 13 year old, and he has a question for you. What's the best thing that you've done by playing Bruce and Gotham? What's the best thing that has, that has you done in Gotham? Like what ha what's the best thing you've done in the series that you've really enjoyed in playing? Um, well, I think my favorite scene so far uh, that I've done is. Oof. I thought I had the answer for a second, but I don't. There's uh, so many. <laughs> what? Okay, I, I, I have two. First of all, when Bruce has, when Bruce meets Matt, are you guys all caught up by the way? I don't want to spoil anything. No. Yes? Okay, good. Okay, um, one of them is when Bruce uh, meets Matches Malone in the middle of season two. Um, that was a great scene. That was one of my favorites. Um, and. My probably my most favorite, and it'll probably stay like this forever, is when Bruce Wayne's parents get shot in an alley. Because because why not? Yeah. Okay. Hola, hola. Wow. Uh, that's a tough question. What has been my experience? My experience has been great. I mean, I love acting. That's just what I love to do. I love to step into another person's shoes between the 30 seconds between action and cut. You know, it's just, um, it's something that I've had a passion for ever since I was really young. And so, um, and yeah. It's difficult to learn so many lines. How long does it take for you to, under, to because, learn yeah, them? To... Th thankfully, I, I know a, a lot of actors who have a very hard time learning their lines. I don't have that problem. Uh, good retention. I have great, great short-term memory. Terrible long-term memory. Really? I can't remember what happened a year ago, <laughs> but if you ask me about like, I, I can, I can read, I, I, usually honestly what I do is I read my, um, the, the scene that we're doing that day, the night before, just a couple times, and I'll know it in the morning. Okay. You need say it. Who has who has a question that's a really, really good question? Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Okay, wait. You. Batman shirt. Red Batman. Wait. <laughs> Let me give him a mic. Oh, when when Gallivan kills the kills Jerome. Yes, okay. What's, so what's your what's, what's your what's question? You? How was your experience? With Jerome. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, question was, for those of you who didn't catch it, how was my experience? If you can sit back now. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 you got um, tired so quick? I got tired, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an old man. Um, how was my experience uh, working with Jerome? First of all, I just want to say, do you guys like Jerome? Because I love Jerome. I think Cameron Monaghan is killing it, and I love what the writers are doing with the character, because you don't know if he's going to become the Joker. He died last year, um, but he's coming back, and that's been officially released. Which I am excited about, and I will tell you that when he comes back, um, it's going to be awesome. And I, I had a great time working with Cameron. He's such a great actor, I can learn so much from him, and um, 
yeah, I mean, he's he's a crucial part of developing Bruce, and and I don't want I, I don't want to spoil anything, but he he will come back and he will have a an impact on Bruce when he does. So, how did my personal life change? It changed immensely because all of a sudden I had to move to New York. Um, I was living alone in an apartment with my mom and my little dog. You guys met Starlet, um, and I mean. I, I, I'm from LA and you know, I, I'd always gone to school normally so um, all of a sudden my life was about Gotham and it, 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 it had a huge change in my life. It was, it was hard the first year to, to make that adjustment but I think I've found the perfect balance now and um, I, I think, yeah, I think it's, it's, going, it's going well, yeah. I love Batman. Oh. Super, go. next question. We'll do that in a bit. I would love to. Sadly, it's not my decision. <laughs> uh, if it was, I'd be Batman right now, but um, it's not. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, you know what I thought was really cool? If once Gotham ends, say it ends in I don't know three years, right? So at season six, right? Um, I would be I would be 18. So. Right, okay, so then say it wraps up then, so then say five years later. You've been later. analyzing this for such a long oh time. God, every single night, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, so then five years later, six years later, when I'm 23, 24, and I'm actually old enough to play Batman, then Gotham does a movie. And every all the characters who, you know, are like younger versions of themselves in Gotham become those characters in this movie that I'm making. That's a perfect plan. No. We, that's a perfect plan. We just have to convince the producers. <laughs> exactly, I have to convince the producers. <laughs>